Hey, this is Captain Banks from Codenamed Epic, here to give you an Apple Tards perspective on life and technology. This is a circuit board. Alright, today I'm talking about the Apple MacBook Pro with Retina Display. But before I actually start my little commentary here, I want to point out Codenamed Epic. You know, Codenamed Epic is pretty awesome. Making the internet epic. Check them out, codenamedepic.com. All right. Now, like I was saying, Apple MacBook Pro with Retina Display. This is kind of like a combination of your 15-inch MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air. You know, it comes standard with a solid-state hard drive, which I love because it makes power up almost instantaneous, kind of like a uh, Ultrabook. It has two Thunderbolt... Uh, it has two Thunderbolt outputs on each computer, as well as an HDMI output and USB 3 ports. However, it, like the MacBook Air, it does not have a CD drive, which kind of seems to be the new trend for Apple products. And it also doesn't have an Ethernet port, which can be good or bad depending on what you want to use it for. Personally, for me, I like plugging in manually, so I like having an Ethernet port. Moving on, about the display itself. Now this thing I think is pretty good. Now take, let's, for example, let's take your standard HD TV, has about 2 million pixels on the screen, right? The, uh, for 1080p quality and resolution, right? Now take your standard computer uh, monitor. The resolution is 1024 by 720, or in TV terms, 720p. The MacBook Pro with Retina Display has 5 million pixels on a 15 inch screen comes out to roughly about 215 pixels per square inch and comparing to a TV the resolution is 2200 to 1800 or in TV terms it would be 1800p resolution which is pretty freaking awesome and that's what I really love about this thing it's a lot thinner it's really it has a real powerful processor and it just looks amazing. I mean, I was at the Apple Store the other day playing with it on Apple's new uh, operating system, Mountain Lion, which is pretty awesome. Buy it. Free ads for Apple here. <laughs> Anyways, it looks pretty awesome. You know, all the Apple apps just look great on them. But here's the problem. Because of such high, high resolution, a lot of third-party apps haven't developed newer versions and updates to handle the higher resolution uh, display. Uh, the best example of this would probably be Microsoft Office, you know, because I wanted to compare and see how third-party apps looked. So I opened Office and it's kind of like having your big screen TV but watching standard def cable on it. I mean, it just, I mean, it looks okay, but it's pixelized. I mean, you can see the individual pixels on the screen. And I don't know. I mean, it's, I like the third-party apps because I use them all the time. I'm a big fan of Office at my day job and here. But I would like to see newer updates and more support for third-party apps. Now, there is a setting if you go into System Preferences and Displays. There's a setting that you can scale back the resolution to deal with the lower res programs, but you have a, such an amazing display on here. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to make something that's near that makes real life look low def? You know, well, that's my take. That's one of the beefs I have on it is the lack of third party support. I have one other beef though, and it's the price. I mean, yeah, I know Apple is always expensive when it comes to their hardware. I mean, they're like I would never buy RAM from Apple, and I love Apple. And the same thing goes from here. Like your standard 15, like your standard 15-inch MacBook Pro will go somewhere between I don't know, $1,200, $1,500. The MacBook Pro Retina display starts out at over two grand. Now I know it's an amazing display and it's really a new technology, but that's a lot of money for a display upgrade. And I know some people not, might not want to buy it. Me personally, I love Apple, but my recommendation for everybody is while this thing is awesome, <clears throat> I would wait 
a little longer for some third-party app support, and hopefully when the next version of this it will come down in price. Probably not, but here's the hoping. Bottom line, someday I'm gonna buy this. I think you should too, but I would wait until there's more app support. Well, that's my take about the uh, Apple MacBook Pro with Retina display. I think it's awesome, even though I have a couple beasts with it. I hope you think it's awesome too. This was the circuit board, and I'll see you later.